I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to speak with you today, and I'm especially grateful for Tony uh, for having us here and welcoming us this afternoon. I chose to have this press conference here, uh, down the street from my office, because Tony and his business are emblematic of a struggle facing our families and our small businesses today. We know that small businesses are the engine of our economy, and they'll help to create jobs that we so desperately need to get people back to work. But we must make sure that they have the resources that they need to grow their business and also to expand and hire more people. For Tony here, it's been difficult. Uh, Tony owns a few Hungarian restaurants in central New Jersey. He knows that this market expansion uh, is possible um, outside of the uh, restaurant that we're in right now. And he'd like to open up additional Hungarian restaurants in the area where he can put more people to work in these restaurants. But it's really been a struggle for him. He owns a million dollar building where I'm standing today and he owns it outright. And he's been seeking a mortgage for it to obtain financing to open these additional restaurants. But he was denied from the banks for the commercial mortgage. We need to make it easier for small businesses to obtain loans and capital to expand and put more people back to work. Tony and many like him have a vision and a plan worth executing, but they'll need in this uh, economy to move forward. My opponent, Congressman Lance, has been completely unhelpful. He's not concerned with the top priority, and that is job creation. And I'm completely dismayed that Congressman Lance has spoken about jobs for less than a minute, 59 seconds on the House floor since going to Washington in the last two years. The House floor is where members of Congress go to speak about what matters most to them, to address the most pressing issues facing our economy. Does Congressman uh, Lance not feel that jobs are a major concern in this economy? I understand that jobs are an important and the most important priority facing our nation right now. And I'll fight to make sure that we get people back to work in good jobs and get this economy moving again. I'm a science teacher, I'm a small business owner, and I'm working for your future, not a political career. Working for our families and our businesses. I was born and raised here in New Jersey. Growing up, I worked alongside my parents in a small business, making batteries for policemen, and firefighters, first responders. I know what it's like to hold a real world job, to struggle and work hard to overcome obstacles. My opponent is a third generation politician. He's never had to struggle for a job, and he thinks that Washington is secure. And while he was in Washington for two years, he spoke for less than one minute on the House floor about jobs. 59 seconds. I'm gonna go over some points for my jobs plan. It's by no means comprehensive, but these are some of the ideas that I have to move our country forward to help support small businesses to get people back to work. Improving access to small business loans. I'm gonna fight to ensure that small businesses have access to loans, that they need to start up, to enhance and expand their businesses and create good jobs in our communities. Accelerated tax relief for capital equipment and improvements. For many small businesses, the slow economy is making capital improvement like an upgrade to a computer or the purchase of a new oven in a restaurant out of reach and an immediate tax deduction uh, would benefit rather than applying it over a long period of time. And I will work to make sure that we make this tax deduction uh, available immediately so that businesses can make purchases that stimulate our economy and put people back to work in manufacturing and installing these capital improvements and maintaining them. I will promote research and development we will expand small business research innovation, a program that currently exists to create good jobs, stimulate innovative businesses, and stimulate cutting edge research and expand these new industries. Um, providing tax cuts for middle class, that must be made permanent. America's middle class needs these tax cuts. The middle class tax cuts will directly improve the economy because our middle class will pump the money back into our local businesses and our communities, like the restaurant I'm in today. 
Congressman Lance supported holding these tax cuts hostage so the wealthiest 2% of Americans can receive a tax cut as well. We must also end tax breaks for companies that ship jobs overseas. These companies endanger our long-term competitiveness by sending our jobs to other countries. Congressman Lance voted to allow these tax breaks to continue, and he voted to allow China to continue to manipulate its currency to make it harder for American companies to compete. That's wrong, and we need to stop that practice. I'll reward for uh, companies for keeping and creating jobs here. I support tax credits for companies, small, medium, and large, that create new jobs in the United States. It is critical that people here in New Jersey get back to work. And I will help to reduce our budget deficit in the long run uh, for every percentage point that we reduce unemployment, 200 billion is reduced from our deficit. Um, the small business laws that were passed in Congress earlier this year help to put people back to work. They provide access for $300 billion in loans to small businesses. They facilitate pumping uh, public and private partnerships. Excuse me. They facilitate, not the pumping, but they facilitate the development of public and uh, private partnerships through the Small Business Administration to jumpstart private investment. Uh, they provide $3.5 billion in tax incentives to spur investment in small businesses and the formation of new businesses. My opponent, incumbent Congressman Lance, voted against a $232 billion tax cut for American families, including child tax credits, earned income tax credits, and college tax credits. He voted against recovering the cost of new capital investments more quickly so that we can reinvest those expenditures in our businesses. He voted against the America Competes Act, which helps small businesses and media manufacturers access capital they need to stay competitive in the global economy and fund basic research science. When I'm elected, I'll represent the working men and women and the business owners being squeezed by this recession, and I'll wake up every, day, every morning thinking about what I can do to make their lives better as their representative. My opponent has either forgotten or never understood what it means to meet payroll, to grow a business, to pay bills on time, to support one's family, and to gain an edge on the competition. I understand how to create jobs. I know that small businesses are the engine of our economy. And I'll fight to make sure they are supported so we can get people back to work. I will represent your needs, represent your priorities, and use my real world experience to make sure America gets its edge back. Thank you.